what is up shark army it's me game shark and welcome back to another video now today we are playing some of the stardew valley on the android i'm going to be showing you a bit of a first look gameplay of what stardew valley looks like and plays like on the android version and then we can kind of compare this to the ios because i've already made a video and the first look gameplay showcased it off to you guys from the ios version and now we're going to do the uh, android version it came out today, it's on the Play Store, you guys can play this and check it out for yourself as well. It is uh, $7.99, I'll put all the links down below if you do want to go and check it out, but I'm just going to show off a little bit of gameplay and uh, yeah, we'll see how it is. Quite excited, it's apparently got some new features which I want to see, so let's go into a new game. We don't want tutorial hints, I'm just going to randomise the character, that'll do. Okay, so we're on the standard farm, my name's Sharky, we're on the reef farm, and our favourite thing is Pam. <coughs> let's just not get into that, shall we? Straight into... A new game, we're going to skip all the intros, from the beginning so many times. And here we go. Now the way you can control is you can point and click just like the iOS. Or you can hold the screen and then like move in a rotating figure with your fingers and you can guide wherever you want the character to go. Or you've got a little option now as well to use a joystick. You can move wherever you want with a joystick, which looks and feels quite nice. That is a feature that I don't think is in the iOS yet. You can actually go into the game settings here and change however you want to play. Uh, tap to move and auto attack. Or you've got a joystick for attack and you've got to attack yourself. You can have invisible joysticks and it gives you a few buttons. So the joystick is in the same place, but you, you can't see it, which is quite nice. But another good feature, look at this guys, the pinch to zoom. You can zoom right in there and you can zoom right out. That's going to be amazing when you're on the farm and you want to see it and showcase it off a little bit. I love that. You can adjust the joypad controls right there. You can put a vibrator on it. You can have a bigger font, pinch to zoom. You know, you can mess around with all of this stuff, which is pretty nice. So let's get out on the farm and go and do a bit of work and see how it looks, shall we? 15 parsnip seeds right there. Obviously, our inventory is on the side here. Now, I kind of want the auto, the tap to move on again because when you click on a tool, it will automatically select the right tool and, you know, gather the resource and cut it down and stuff like that instead of you having to do it, which is pretty cool. I quite like that. So far, it looks and plays nice. Um, the only difference for me from the iOS is I played on an iPad, so the screen was much bigger. Obviously, I'm playing on a, an Android now and it's not as big of a screen, so it's a little bit sensitive with your fingers and stuff like that. You can misclick quite a lot, which I'll probably do a lot. And if you want to chop a tree, you've got to hold the tree with you actually can't just tap it once like you can with a normal branch i'll chop a tree down and then we can um, get a bit of crafting done and see how that works we'll have a walk around town as you can see you've got your energy at the bottom right you've got the time and the date at the top right the money and stuff like that to get into the settings you press underneath the little i button for the quests where that is your journal you press the settings underneath it you can get into your, your skills the inventory obviously and this is where you attach all your rings and stuff like that and this is all of the npcs so you can see what the hearts you're at with everybody this is your crafting obviously we need 50 wood to get a chest we've got the map this is all of the collection tabs and there's your settings i think after i've got this tree i'll be able to get the first chest and we'll see how the crafting works so you just press the chest press craft it'll go into your inventory there it is down here and you'll get like a little grid path and this is all of the areas where you can place a chest this is a feature that i didn't see on the ios i didn't see that little green grid there maybe it's in the settings but you can turn it on and adjust it if you wanted to now let's get the hoe oh god this is going to be a little bit tough for the fingers you might be able to have the tool location showing as you can see you've got a grid for the seeds as well so it tells you which bits of the soil is free for a, a seed to go into which is pretty nice so you might be able to adjust all of that if you look in the settings you can adjust it and customize it to however you prefer so zooming into the crop for the crops to water was actually quite good okay well let's have a little look in town shall we and see what we can do so right now i'm just using my finger and i'm guiding the direction it's like a joystick but a big one that fits the whole entire screen and you can just like move it around and just go wherever you want. Or, like I say, you can just touch on the screen and your character will just go there. If you want to be lazy like that. Let's talk to Harvey. So this is what the dialogue looks like. Pleasure to meet you, I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Pretty good, it just fits at the bottom of the screen perfectly like there. This sexy Jody. It plays just exactly the same as it would on a PC. Apart from you are in more control of how you play. Because obviously it's touch, touch screen. A bit more indirect. But it is good, it's, it's a nice way to play the game, on the go. The zoom function is amazing, look at that, you can zoom right out. 
I really like that. You can literally see so far. And on the farm, once you've made it look quite pretty, and you want to see it like in a bird's eye view, that's going to be pretty good to zoom out like that. That is a great feature. Maple seed in the bin? Okay, let's go to the top of the map. Oh, there's Pam. Grumpy old Pam. Hey kid, the name's Pam. You don't want to talk to her when she's woke up on the wrong side of the bed. This will only be a little bit of a short gameplay just to show it off to you. I'm obviously not playing for it properly. I'm just showing you mainly how it looks now it plays. And yeah, so far it's quite good. Very easy to play. I like the fact that you've got more in-game settings and more controls to customise than you do over on the iOS. Um, so you can literally customise the game to play how you want it to be. With the you know the joystick and the auto attack and all of that, you can switch between them all. There is a few settings in the iOS as well, but you don't get the joystick options. You also don't get the pinch to zoom. And I've not seen the grid layout as well, which helps you when you want to place things and stuff like that. You can adjust quite a lot in the settings. Even the way that there's near the size and the joypad controls, if you do want to use the joystick. And I think you can use a controller with the Android as well. If you can use a Bluetooth controller or one that actually plugged into an Android, you can play this game using that because that's why the joypad settings are there, which is pretty cool. And look at that for a full view of the farm. And the best thing is, you can actually rotate the screen and like view off of screen. You can like go down to the bottom a little bit. Pretty cool. So there we have it guys, that's just going to be a little bit of a short gameplay video for you, playing a little bit of the Android version, obviously on a mobile phone. I prefer this Stardew Valley on the Android, that's just my opinion, just because of the way they customise the controls, the pinch to zoom and stuff like that. It actually plays quite smoothly as well. Now another good thing about this is if, if you went on, you know, opened a message or took a phone call or had to quit the game, when you load back up you will automatically be right where you left off, so let's give that a try. And here we go, you get a box that pops up and it will say, would you like to restore from where you previously left off? You press yes, and it should bring you back where we were. And there we have it, exactly where we were when we left off. Perfect. So that is it guys, the Android version for Stardew Valley. A little bit of gameplay. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as well. But that is all I've got time for. I'll put all the links down below if you want to check it out for yourself. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.